I, my hair is a distraction. Chanel and thank you so much okay hi everybody and before I get into the story time you already know what I want you guys to do like share subscribe be a part of the gang that is good okay you know what goes on over here we tell stories we tell your stories my stories nothing is off limits okay okay now let's get into it oh my goodness okay Ooh, do you guys have my hair? I did a lot to this hair. It's old, but I revamped it up. Just let me know if it's cute. Anyway, <laughs> um, this story time is, it's a little bit of two for one you guys are getting. It's a story time plus a little bit of a girl talk. And yes, so I'm pretty sure you guys, if you do not know, like, you know, um, there's a video going viral on TikTok of a woman basically embarrassing her daughter by cutting off all her hair and telling her that being pretty ain't shit. Okay? Okay. So, I have gone through something very similar to, the, to this little girl, but my hair wasn't cut off. Same thing similar, but my hair wasn't cut off. So, I'm going to just get into the story. So, it was when I was, I believe I was like in like the second or third grade when this happened to me and um, my aunt did my hair. So, she did my hair and she put braids in it. So, at the time, my I was, you know, like eight or something and my hair was like down to my shoulders, like it was like shoulder length, beads on, it was really, really cute, right? Go to school looking very, very cute. And like, you know, like the kids in my class, they were playing in my hair, right? They were playing my hair because they liked the bead. They were touching on it. They was, you know, dangling it and all this other stuff, you know, do, doing that. I did tell them, I was definitely telling the kids in my class at, at that time to stop touching my hair, right? So, end of the day comes, my teacher, I remember this woman, her name was Miss Morgan. She was mean as hell, Okay. So, this woman tells my aunt, who comes to pick me up that day, that my, my hair is a distraction and that the students were playing in it. Okay? Mind you, she says my hair is a distraction and the other children are playing in my hair. Okay? Alright, so what my aunt decides to do is pull my beads out yes she drags my beads out in front of my teacher nobody else was there like no other students was there but she dragged my beads out in front of my teacher and what I did at that time is I was running away from her I was in the school I was running from this woman I was running from this woman down the hall and she chased me and she started to drag my beads out I was running she was chasing me and she drags out my beads. She dragged out my beads so much that I, the janitor was like, where are all these beads coming from? They was coming from me, okay? And my aunt was dragging my beads out, chasing me down the hall for school. Let me tell you something. Jamaican people, have a little, a little moment of silence because I, I, I mean there's it's a <sighs> alright we're done I don't understand why parents feel like embarrassing the hell out of their children is doing something it does nothing but make them hate you it really do it makes them want to not be around you serious to God because I will never forget this day this happened because that put in my mind that this woman is out to get me. Serious to God. Like, this is supposed to be a parental figure in my life, and she is out to get me. Because she pulled, she embarrassed me in front of my teacher. She pulled my hair out. She pulled out my, she pulled, she was pulling my beads out so much, I got a headache. Okay? 
When we got home, she started to beat me. She didn't ask me anything. She didn't ask me no questions. She didn't say why I let the kids do this, that. She just started to beat me. And that was it. She beat me. I cried. I went to sleep because I, I was tired. I was running. My head hurt. And that's it. And then she told my grandmother. And then my grandmother started yelling at me. And the thing is that I was trying to say is the kids were playing in my hair. They were playing in my hair, but they did. she didn't want to hear that. All she heard was what the teacher said. Oh, okay, cool. Now I'm going to be your ass. And, and that was it. In those times when I realized a lot of the times when teachers are telling on the children and whatever, sometimes, yes, these, these kids is bad as hell. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Children are fucking horrible. Some of these kids are horrible. However, I feel like it's a 50-50 thing. You have to listen to your kids. Just like when the teacher is saying whatever they did, that's disrespectful or anything like that or something that happened also listen to the kid the children are people that's the thing that i realize a lot of with people that are um parents they behave as if their children do not have a mind they behave as if their children are not people they just behave as if their children are just nobodies like they don't have um a brain and emotions and stuff like that. This plays with a, a child's psyche, especially a young girl. Because when I watched that video of the mom literally cutting her hair out from the root, it brought me right back to that day when my aunt pulled my beads out at school when I was in the third grade. Like, it was ridiculous. Because at the end of the day, I saw this mom tell her daughter Oh, being pretty ain't shit. That's a lie. That's a lie. Why would you tell her that being pretty ain't shit when we live in a world that goes off of how you look, how much money you have, and all these other things? What you should have told her is being pretty is not everything. Not that being pretty ain't shit. Because that is not true. Because if being pretty ain't shit, there would be no such thing as being a supermodel. Okay? There will be no, there will be no freaking Beyonce if being pretty ain't shit. And that's a beautiful bitch. Okay? That's a beautiful woman. So you're not gonna, why is it that you would tell this young lady that being pretty ain't shit? That's not true. You should have told her being pretty ain't everything. Tell her that you ain't gonna be in here being pretty only and thinking that you cannot be beautiful and have a brain. That is what you should have told her. Because, and then, you come back and you want to say, oh, how I was disciplining my daughter. And then showing everybody how you embarrass her. And then, wanting to say, oh, asking the little girl how she felt about it. And then she's saying, oh, she, you know, you could see it in her eyes. She, she, she already, this is the thing, let's be for real. She know her mama. She know her mother. And she knows if she said anything other than, yeah, it was fine, it was this and that, you probably would have slapped the hell out of her. Let's be real. Like, let's be real. Like, her, like people of color, embarrassing the hell out of your kids, it, it just, it's looked at like it ain't nothing. That's just what your child deserves if they're being bad. It's for you to embarrass the fuck out of them. And let everybody know that they're being bad or let everybody know that something is going on or whatever the hell. Nothing is ever dealt with in-house. And that's the thing that always pissed me off with people, with children. Why do you have to handle disciplines out in the street and discipline the fuck out of your child? That is your girl. That's supposed to be your baby girl. Hmm? Huh? Like, and that's the thing that I always never understood, even with my own family. Like, why are you letting everybody know what I did that is that is wrong? The whole entire family don't need to know what I did. The whole family do not need to know what I did that was rude or disrespectful or whatever the case is. Maybe keep it in-house and let's handle it like that. Like, it's just, it's just very hurtful because it just shows, it, it makes it look like you're jealous of your daughter. And the thing is, not you listen. I'm not gonna say that w there's not women out here that are definitely jealous of their children, and there's not family members out here that's definitely jealous of another family member. 
Even if this woman is not jealous of her daughter, what you just did was you played with that little girl's psyche. She, you cut her hair off in front of everybody because it's viral. And then she has to go to school. <laughs> then she got to go to school. Okay. It's one of two ways it's going to go. Either there's going to be kids in the school that's going to feel really bad about for her. And console her because that happens. You know, there's going to be like you have your friends who are just like, oh my God, I feel so bad that your mom cut your hair and blah, blah, blah. There, there, there are those people that they're probably your friends and they're going to feel really bad for you because they they care about you because they're your friends, you know? And then there's going to be those other group of kids that does not care about her at all and is laughing at her because her mother cut her hair by the root. But let's just hope that the root, that it's a little bit of root there that you can take us to the Africans and let them, you know, snatch that up and braid some braid it back so she can have some, you know, because you cut her braids out. You cut her freaking braids out. Hopefully, it's a little something, something there. Take her to the Africans and make them scoop that up and braid her hair back and, and make it grow out. Let them treat it and make them make it grow back out because that was disgusting. Serious to God, that was not that was pure hatred. You cut that little girl hair and talked about um how oh being pretty ain't shit. I told you this, I told you that, blah 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 blah. Like you hate her. And at the end of the day, you're her mom, but I'm pretty sure you don't hate her. I'm pretty sure you do not hate her, but how you made her feel must be you hate her. Because the truth is, the only reason why I'm even talking about this right now is because I've gone through this similar experience of embarrassment in front of people. Noah was not on the major scale, because back then there was no going viral, there was no social media like that. Well, not at my age, I didn't have one, but... What happened, it plays with her psyche because you're letting her know, okay, being beautiful, is it doesn't mean nothing when it means something. It means something, but it does not mean everything. The way you present in the world and the way that you carry yourself does mean something. For you to tell her, oh, it don't mean shit, that's a lie. That's a full lie because we are women. That's a young girl. It's too many of us as black and brown people that are telling our daughters that like being pretty ain't don't do shit for you and all these all these things that are fucked up that plays with your self esteem why is it that us as minorities love to play on our children's self esteem it's so hurtful like what where does that come from like I don't I don't understand it because I grew up with that same those same experiences where somebody that is supposed to be a parental figure to me is playing on my self-esteem and trying to down me. It's either you calling me ugly, it's either you calling me black, it's either you calling me something, and that is supposed to play on my self-esteem. Thank God. I had other people in my life that told me, you know, I was beautiful and stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't have to hear it. Because what happens is when the mom does things like that at home, what she, what she will then do is try to seek it outside of the home. Let's not act like that don't happen. When something happens in home, because it always starts in the house. When something is being lacked at home as a child, you will then go try to seek it somewhere else. And that is when this young girl is going to try to seek some something from another bo from a boyfriend at school or a grown ass man. And Lord knows we don't want none of that to happen. We don't want that to happen. But it happens when you play with your children's self-esteem. Like, that little girl is a beautiful little girl. Her mom is beautiful. I feel like the discipline could have went another way. And it's like, a lot of the times, it's but I don't know, because they look like they're Caribbean. They look like they're, like, Hispanic, Spanish. Why do we discipline our kids so harsh? 
Like, for real. Like, I always thought about that growing up. Like, why do we discipline our kids so harshly? Like, I'm Jamaican. So, I'm, I... I already seen like really really harsh punishments really beat the hell out of you surprise ain't nobody cussing me yes for real seriously like beating you beating you beating you when I'm telling you beat you I mean beat you with an object not a belt a different object okay why I don't know but the thing is see I'm grown so I can talk about it now because I've gone through that see the thing is I'm going to talk about it now because I've gone through it, but it's still not right. It makes you dislike them. Why do you think there is people in homes, family, mothers and fathers in homes, and they complain about their kids not coming to visit them? It's because you, you, it's, it's the treatment. They will remember the treatment that is what that is what it is we think there's a there's too much of us and i feel like it's because of that earlier generation that they had to deal with whatever they if their mom slapped the shit out of them you just gotta take take the slap you can't say shit about it there's nothing to say right so we're in that generation where it's like I remember my mom beating me. I remember my dad beating me. I remember other family members be getting permission to beat me. I'm not talking to none of y'all no more. Yeah, that happens. But the older generation, I remember my mom beating me. I remember my dad beating me. I remember other family members getting permission to beat me. I still, I still hold all of that to my heart, and but I'm still coming to family gatherings whenever we have them and then there's a big and then there's beef and then this cousin can't sit with that cousin and that aunt can't be around that aunt and the this and the that yeah that happens but you want to know the difference in the generation see the generation like for me my generation the, the, the kids born in the 90s we starting to not give a fuck that's what it is. I feel like it's starting with us. Like, I feel like it's definitely starting with the children in the 90s. Because I remember my mom told me something about, oh, us ch kids born in the 90s, we behave as if we don't care about our parents. No, 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 no. It's not that we behave like we don't care about our parents. The truth is we are starting to understand our parents as adults. Because you have to remember, as a child... You think of your parent as one way. And then when you're finally an adult, that is different. You have to remember, they are human too. You are human as well. So now how I feel and think about you is not the same as when I was a kid. Like, you know what I mean? So now I'm taking everything at face value. I remember when you hurt me. I remember when you belittled me. I remember when you treated me like trash sometimes. I remember when you hurt my feelings. I remember those days that you told the whole family about something that I did and you disciplined me and then you let everybody know. I remember that. And I remember the times when you didn't just do it one or tw once or twice. I remember when you did it every single time. So now as a grown person... I don't have to be around you. Oh, 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 let's click another one. Also, I'm getting therapy. And I don't have to deal with none of this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to heal all my, all my childhood trauma by myself. Yeah. Yeah. And that is why things are changing now. Because I feel like with the 90s kids, we saw a lot of bullshit right in front of our faces. And now we're just saying, no. I'm not doing I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with that. I don't care what title of family and blood we share. You ain't gonna do that to me. Mm -hmm. But the difference is for that girl, she's still a child. So she's still under her parental figure's roof. 
I feel like all that needs to be ha it's just like a conversation and I'm not trying to talk about pa her parenting style because I'm not a parent I'm not a parent all I'm talking about is something that I watched and I could fully relate to and that's it getting out but tell me um you know let me know your perspective on the situation and tell me how you feel tell me if a a, a, your parent or a family member embarrassed you like that made you feel very less of yourself also you know tell me about a time where you felt this does this family member hate me or you know something along the lines are they jealous of me let me know in the comment section below and love you guys till next time bye and treat everybody kind, like, for real. Treat everybody with respect and kindness. Bye.